This is grade A, 100% pure Colombian cocaine, ladies and gentlemen, disco shit. Hey guys, Andy here. Uh, gonna do something a little uh, non-standard than what we normally do today. Um, I'm just gonna actually take a recording over the next uh, couple days or so as I work through uh, a lot of the bugs. But uh, was watching Neo MC's creations after watching Sunday uh, do his Lucky Blocks with Craft Royale. I absolutely love the game on my phone. Uh, you know, I'm logging into it a, a couple times a day, and uh, when I saw the uh, what Brosius and Neo MC had done, and setting up a vanilla crack royal crack royale type map, I was like, guys, I gotta I gotta get in this. I even commented on the video, uh, Sunday's video, um, that this should be a multiplayer game, and I've yet to see any progress, any comments, or anything like that. Um, to set up a, a game, a multiplayer server, or anything like that, you know, it's going to take a probably a few days uh, for me to even get my server up here and running, just my development server uh, up and running. But I re really, really want to uh, try this out. I've never done this before. Never set up a Minecraft server uh, for multi mass multiplayer. Uh, you know, I've done local network connections. I've even let a couple of my friends in externally. Opened up the IP address. Or opened up the server to uh, the external uh, internet, um, port forwarded through my router, and uh, but I'm actually going to put in a development server. Actually, it's it's right now going through some updates right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll get some video of that here in a few minutes uh, of basically what that setup really looks like. It's just an old laptop, just because I don't need it to last very long. Uh, but it'll give me a really really good idea of what I can do with it. And there'll probably be a few iterations that go through it as well, um, uh, in regards to that. But uh, um, you know, I've got the server set up. I've got all, all of that going on, and uh, that's all because about an hour ago I saw that Neo had done a crap royal with viewers Q and A with Brosius. Uh, I went through. I watched the entire stream. Or for the most part, the entire stream. I think I got like 45 minutes in. And I was like, "This is awesome!" I and, and Neo I had mentioned that the map is available for download down in the description. So I was like, "Ding, hello." Uh, let's see if I can't get this working on a server. This map, being vanilla, it shouldn't be very hard at all. But uh, um, I've got a 1.12 server up and running right now. Uh, it, I just launched it, and in fact, we'll, we'll go ahead and log in on that. Um, the server is an old uh, Dell laptop. The server is an old Dell laptop. It's got four gigs of RAM. It's running a, uh, I believe, a, maybe a Pentium i3 or an i5. I think it's an i5 uh, Pentium processor. Uh, like I said, just development. Um, now I've got CentOS 7 loaded up on that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and log into this. Um, I'm on my development machine, but you know I've got the, the terminal up and going on my on that development laptop right now. This is what it's set up for. Uh, at. So I'm using uh, Putty to, to SSH in to remote access in, and seeing as it's on the local network, I can go straight in like this, put my password in, and we are right here. So, uh, so like I said, I've got you know, it's four gigs of memory. I've got really three gigs is available. Um, the 
All right, so Java is running uh, as MC server. The um, let's look at the history here. So here's a history of all, everything that I did to to basically get this rolling here, uh, starting with an FTP server, setting up an own cloud, and. Tried setting up a server there at that point. It's not going to show it to me. Um, let's see if I can't push that over to. I utilized kind of well. I kind of utilized the uh, uh, Volter.com slash docs install Minecraft server. Listen here. That's uh, kind of backwards. Um, that web address. See if I can't get it to come up. That's yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna show very well. So just basically it was uh, um, basically you go through you install Java, check got that. I used uh, Java 1.8 because I want a 1.12.1 Minecraft server, so I need uh, Java 1.8 uh, Open JDK, and then I open the firewall for port. 255.65 on a TCP, and I reloaded the uh, firewall port, and then I created the user uh, MC server, and that's what's actually the user that on the machine on the server that's actually going to be running the uh, the Minecraft server itself. Uh, set the password, and then uh, allows you to run a, a command to allow you to run the screen while sudo away from root for the next step. So um, then I logged in as MC server uh, on the Command line. That's just a um, this command right here. So su dash mc server. Boom. Let's see if it'll give me history here. Yep. Okay. So then I made the made the directory maker uh, Minecraft. Now went into it and then I ran um, this command right here. Um, almost this actually uh, had a typo here. It's no longer Amazon.com. It's AmazonAWS.com. It's this right here. And that is the letter O. Um, I had to go back and install wget because uh, for whatever reason, I don't remember why I installed a lightweight CentOS uh, operating system. So I, I basically downloaded the server for 1.12.1, changed the uh, Java executable, the jar, uh, for the server to be able to execute. That's what the plus X is to execute. Screen and then uh, instead of going in with Vim or anything like this, you can echo e, uh, EU LA equals true and point it to the file, the e, uh, end user license agreement file. And that's what allows you to open and, and run without any problems. And I ran the free dash M dash H just to make sure I had enough um, memory. And uh, at this point, when I ran this command, that's when I realized I needed the uh, 1.8 and not 1.7 Java. So I uh, updated my job at this point and then ran that command, and now it's running. So I should be able to. Uh, let's go ahead and close this guy out and actually launch a Minecraft. I'm a little dark. Got Minecraft launcher running over here. Execute play 1.12.1. I need to download this map as well. I've got that up. Craft Royale. So this is you know this this is the map. This is what I wanted to do in vanilla Minecraft 2v2. Um, I'm going to try it in 1.12.1 instead of uh, 1.11.2. Otherwise, I'll roll back to 1.11.2 and give it a, give it a shot. Um, And let's let's download this. All right, download. I don't need that. Come on, come on. I got a lot of stuff running. All right, here we go. Hey, yep, add server. Local 
control send us. Actually, um, craft royale. One night two months two. And then uh, Um, if guys, if you want to know how this, uh, um, come on, how this server actually works, um, NeoMC's got this awesome uh, Redstone uh, tutorial here, Craft Royale with viewers, Q and A, and goes over all of it. So now that server's up and running, I can. Um, basically copy that world over into the server. Now I know it's up and good, and that will be the next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out, and we will, ah, uh, yep, yep, I know. Extract files. And, uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll, we'll do it into its own folder right here. Man. So now I should be able to go in to here. Um, I need to stop that server. I'll be right back. I'm going to go stop it. And I'm back. So I've gone ahead and stopped the server. As you can see, Java probably dropped out of the uh, top listing here. Top is basically it shows you all the processes. And now I'll be able to copy the, uh, let me show you. Uh, uh, the, uh, yep, that's nice. I don't really care about that. I have not used this since they updated. All right, here we go. Putty. There we are, putty. And I want to PSFTP. Um, yes. It's fine. I'm going to copy this guy here. Um, this is my password. Oh, I don't want that. Never mind. Wrong server. Let's try this again. Uh, Try this again. All right, here we go. Open root at 192.164. Password. Now, this is the command line for Putty's uh, put command. Let's try this again. I 
got a lot of technical difficulties. Cut. Paste. Try this one more time. Put. Unable to open. I don't need you to open it. Just. Oh, I know why. Because I'm trying to put an entire folder, I need to basically turn this into a archive and I want should use seven zip instead want to turn it into a tar I know there's a 7-zip portable here somewhere. Oh well. Nope, wrong one. Discard that one. I don't want the 64-bit. Keep that. Execute it. Yes. That's fine. Close you, keep you open, actually I don't need you anymore, and 7 zip, alright, add to archive, this is what I wanted, give me a tar, okay. So add to archive, GZ, also known as tarball, alright, so. Properties. Boom. And now we're going to copy this over so I can roll back into Putty once this is done. And it's telling me it's put it into root. So C root, go into the root folder, out oh, pseudos. Yep, that's right, forgot about that. Alright, so there it is, Craft Royale. I'm going to move that into the MC server user folder, so it is going to be in the Craft Royale to home slash. MC uh, CD on um, MC and there it is right there craft royale tar gz so I'm going to tar xz xvf vf craft and it's now sitting right there so craft royale Man, that's a full up open. Okay. Anyway, CD craft. Alright, so I'm going to basically make a backup of the world folder, or just I'm going to rename the world folder to like world.bk or something like that, and then rename the craft royale folder. To world, so we are going to MV world to world back. And 
and do craft to world. World. And I want to change mod dash dash refer world back to world. And shown, uh, MC server, MC server. So, what this is doing is changing the ownership of the world folder that is set as root here. So, this one right here to basically be MC server, MC server. That's what this one and this one is for. And then I could have a type. Oh, ah. And now they should be identical. Now I can go back into and type in history. Come on. No. Literally can't type history. And I want to run that command on line 20. So now that's running. Now if I open up Minecraft again, I see preparing spawn area, doing all of this, preparing the level world, and done. Now let's load this up. Let's see if it'll let me connect up. I may have to take a pause here and uh, all right, here we are. Join the game. Back to the game and now uh, I add myself to the um, mod lists. I gotta look that command up. I don't do it on enough to remember what it is. Minecraft server command give user mod. Okay, that's what it is. So now I should be able to do this again. Yep, all right. So we are now running um, a full-up server with this running. And this is all the redstone for all of this, for the entire, um, basically, map for the entire game. Let me look at... 29 chunks, that's a pretty good amount. And see, yep, 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 done there. And controls, auto jump is off. Awesome. So, basically, I got the server up and running, which is awesome. Anybody that I open up the network to should be able to play. However, there's only one single map. So, uh, my next step that I'm going to go towards in building is probably tearing this entire structure down. Not, not the map, but the entire server instance down and setting up a Docker container or something like that so that, and a uh, waiting area so that whenever somebody loads in, it'll auto launch its own server basically. Um, and uh, essentially give them the uh, their own map. And then whenever the match is over, do a timeout timer countdown and um, it'll put them back to the lobby and then uh, disassemble that container. Uh, that's my next, that's gonna take a few days more than likely. Um, if everything was, starts working really well with it, then I will likely um, see if I can't get a hold of Neo, Ambrosius and, and those guys and uh, see what they would think about 
setting up a dedicated server so that people can come in and, and play and join and and uh, have a lot of fun with it. I know it's all uh, pretty time consuming, but it'd be a lot of fun to be able to do that type of stuff. So yeah, guys, uh, for now, um, uh, guys, for now, thanks for watching. And uh, if you've got any questions and setting up Minecraft servers or anything like that, shoot me a comment. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button. And uh, if you're new to the channel at all, please subscribe. That'd be pretty awesome. And, uh, you know, like I said, guys, uh, if you got any questions, let me know in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Come on.